has uh, travelled a long way to uh, come and work with a leading professional in the industry, Steve and Hoverwash, in Surrey, in the UK. And uh, let's take a look. We're going to follow Steve through his journey with uh, setting up the roof wand and carrying out some external high cleaning, pressure cleaning, to bring this roof back to life. So to be honest, it's probably not one of the dirtiest ones um, that we've encountered, but uh, the customer still wants a full clean. So it still has challenges within itself and, and access. So it is a, a clay tile, but we'll, we'll take a look around and we'll follow Steve through this journey and look at challenges that uh, need to be discussed and, and uh, undertaken. So certain jobs like this, you know, there's often pre-evaluation, pre-assessment, uh, working out, uh, working in with neighbours to be able to get access from adjoining properties. But if you can see it from the ground, you can clean it with the roof wand. So 19 metres of extended pressure pole. Um, it can be broken down, so not necessarily having to use 19 metres all in one but um, using as much as required. So this particular side is going to be a, a challenge and there is a laneway and uh, we'll watch Steve tackle that. Um, so it's going to be a full exterior clean and then a BioShield treatment uh, for long-term cleanliness of the roof and then followed up with a gutter clean. Um, this is 3,000 psi at 21 litres per minute. So as we know, even back in Australia, water flow is marginal. Um, that wheelie bin is going to supply water to this pressure cleaning system. So running at 3,021 litres a minute, um, this low speed pump is going to be able to pull directly from the wheelie bin. So then we'll move on to another bit of familiar kit and uh, the home of Skyvac, uh, spinner clean. So we have a industrial 85, uh, vacuum out the gutters. Uh, that's gonna be easy cleanup. The mass trolley system is an integral part of using the 19 meter pressure pole. So the mast itself is double insulated. So there's two insulation sections um, it has a British standards approval, 1000 volts AC, 1500 volts DC, to protect you, the operator. So we have maximum height within this mast. The remote control mechanism on the mast assembly has a 700 mil up and down increase in, in height through remote control and also on the back of, of the control panel. We also have an angular displacement from left to right on this mast task trolley as well. And we're gonna see that today. So working smarter, not harder. So we're gonna protect the protect the area of working in. So that's gonna allow faster cleanup. So every job's gonna be different. There's gonna be flower bed, lawn, patio furniture. So I've been able to cover that and in the way that Steve will see the way that he packs up those tarps, um, just allows a, a faster exit and a l controlling the mess uh, which may be brought off the roof during the clean but this one as I sort of stated is, is not as dirty as, as some um, and this is all just pre-set up uh, with this particular system. using the Skyvac system for a cleanup, but it's also going to be used to 
replace key items to block downpipes. So not to push the debris down that downpipe. Um, So stabilising bars, which can be pre-configured to allow different stability. But the thought process has been put in that they've been bent in a certain way, so depending on the terrain, um, being a square tube, and if you can see the, the geometric configuration of that, um, the way they're placed in will allow you to you know, jump up onto a garden bed or, or sit a bit lower in the terrain. A lot of these things have been thought about to give the operator the stability and then the functional reach with the 700mm vertical lift and the 30 degree side to side, all controlled through a fob, a remote control or the manual configuration on the push button on the back. A big vacuum cleaner into place. And this has all been done as we've uh, sat alongside and watched Steve in 805. And uh, we're nearly ready to start. Well, I'm Steve from Hollowash, uh, just set up for doing this house reasonably, reasonably dirty, not that, that much moss on it. Set it all up with a gutter vacuum, the, um, everything's set up to go. The sheets have been overlaid, so there's not much moss on this, but, but if there was a lot of moss on it, all the moss would fall into the sheets, covering all the grass, and then you can you can then roll the sheets from one to another. They're all overlapped, and all the moss will just gather into one pile, and then then you can dispose of it. So the mess is uh, the mess is cleaned up quite quickly. Yeah, so that's it really. So we're uh, we're all ready to go and start cleaning this roof. So he's just fired the system up. So it's understanding your, your pressure, your flow, your nozzles. And it comes with experience. So if you've ever used a pressure pole, driving a pressure pole around or manipulating it into tight spaces is a technique. And the operators paid for that technique and that experience to be able to carry out a particular task like that. And talking to the guys here in UK, 200 to 250 pounds an hour. So from probably an, a financial aspect as a single operator, where the time has just gone 8.12 um, from our pre-arrival time. Steve's up and running. He's cleaning a ridge. Um, and to be fair, this is not a super dirty roof aspect. He has flow control on his gun. And he's... Uh, making it look quite easy. So his remote control fob on the unit will give him 700 mils of vertical rise in the trolley. The actuators on the trolley allow 30 degree deflection. So he's able to cover a reasonable area before he needs to move the trolley assembly. So how would you do this otherwise, you know? Elevated platform, elevated boom, scaffold, roof walk, and this is a clay tile roof. So the responsibility of, you know, or, or the impact damage if you had to walk a roof and the unknown if you have caused damage 
with walking in that roof is all alleviated from from a process that's undertaken with the roof on. So over spraying the ridge tiles um, is just a simple process so it's going to allow you to not dirty um, the clean side um, and blowing the lichen and moss back over uh, when we when when you move to a different section of roof. Yeah, so he's just going through an adjustment phase and is going to remove a section. So the flow control is the trigger assembly, so we've cut pressure at the gun, so he's able to disconnect sections uh, with the pressure cleaner still running in the background and, and the bypass of the pressure cleaner uh, satisfied and the, not being overheated so quickly able to adjust for different circumstances So you make a mess to, to clean up, and there is going to be mess in the general area, but where, where do you stop? So where do you um, start and end with the cleanliness of a, a property? So this all needs to be discussed when you're pre-evaluation or, or you're quoting the customer that um, uh, your deck cleaning, your house washing, um, at what degree do you want to to portray to the customer that your, your, your quotation does cover and and then your from a business perspective your easy bolt-ons to allow you to further then do a full exterior house wash or a building wash a uh, window clean, a deck clean, a patio clean. So if you're working and you're not moving through the day and uh, you're doing a full makeover from top to, to bottom, it's going to be a, uh, from a financial aspect, uh, quite a win-win for you, the operator. Do a time check, 8.20, and uh, nearly clean that one section of the roof. Up over the ridge. So multi-adjust, you, know, you, you saw then the, the telescopic sections and the handle, which are double insulated, allow extensions. And having a, a steep pitch roof like this is, is working in your favour, because it's allowing a, you know, an easy flush. Come down the valley. So challenges, so you can see 
now the displacement of the trolley, the stabiliser arms, the outriggers are in place. The cup and roller assembly at the top of the mast trolley with the 30 degree displacement on the actuators which are under remote control. And Steve, all he does all day is dance. So he's dancing around. And he's just got to do a final rinse on this particular section, but uh, 8.33. And he's yeah, probably done 15 square metres. And, mate, this is definitely a UK thing where the customers look after the operators. It's absolutely remarkable. It's in the contract. It's in the contract where a cup of tea on the job site is mandatory. Yeah. But uh, there's a few of us here uh, learning today and we've come to uh, learn from the wizard. So a mechanical clean finished off with a biocide treatment. So we're getting the best of both worlds. So just from a modular pole assembly, so label the roof wand, but pressure cleaning. So the terminology used is a high reach pressure cleaner, so adjusting the displacement of the nozzles. Um, the customers asked about the chimney stack, so it will be a, a post biocide treatment, but controlling the pressure and flow through the pressure cleaner, um, if that's controlled through experience and a flow control on the handle, uh, pressure from the unloader valves or RPM. You're able to freehold this at shorter lengths to be able to use it as a sectional pressure cleaning pole. So at this particular angle, uh, there will be pressure cleaning the chimney stack. And it's experience, it's like anything you do. Um, the more you do, the more you become okay with it. So from a hover arrangement, uh, we, Steve now manipulating the pole as a high reach pressure cleaning aspect and driving that straight out. The three turbo nozzles on the end jetted uh, the super machine. And just by twisting the handle, pushing the pole through the guide, is able to control that very well. It's needed to adjust the height. Um, that's quite simple for him to do as well. I just finished working directly in an area, so at height, you've been able to manipulate the pole assembly and give the top of those solar panels a bit of a rinse, cleaning over the top of that ridge, we now an easier clean up for the front part of the roof. But you know, little low sections of roof, 
of this particular nature, the pressure pole can be broken down and it'll just hover under its own esteem with the turbo nozzles and is quite easy to manipulate for these lower sections so they'll be flown through quite quickly. So there has been a cup of tea and a smoke o break. Um, time check, a few minutes to nine. And uh, you can see from the ground here we're, uh, we're pretty clean up there. And he's just manipulating to finish off this section here. But to be fair, the access is quite good with this property. So there's lots of room around to be able to to move and yeah as said previously it's, it's not that dirty so we'll have to call it Steve is doing the roof one dance making this look uh, quite easy so if you can see it you can clean it so what happens if you can't see it? So different options, elevated work platforms to enable you to get up higher to still enable the use of the roof wand system uh, is, is one aspect. There will always be certain jobs that you may decline uh, due to complexity. Uh, and, and roofing structure but uh, the guys behind me are also just talking about planning your job so the sun's just about to peak over the top of this roof head or roof ridge uh, so sun in your eyes is one so knowing your weather conditions uh, wind in blowing the debris into a neighbour's property uh, is very important um, and there was just comments then about sunglasses, so uh, a bit like Melbourne. Um, there is a bit of sun here. Uh, we are in summer, uh, still a bit chilly for the follically challenged like myself, but uh, these are all aspects that need to be taken into account. Bit of a time check, seven minutes past nine. And you can see how clean uh, the clay roof is from here. Just finishing off this side here. Final rinse, gutter clean. So we talked about the lower roofs, so three sectional pole as a pressure pole. So adaptable in many ways. as a 9 metre pressure pole. In the roof cleaning aspect, we'll call it a roof wand. For down low, for building washdowns, facade cleaning, an adaptable pressure cleaning pole. You can see that the width there must be yeah, you know, ranging from 20 to 30 centimetres that he's able to clean with a single pass. And those three turbos.
super quick. So time check, 9.21. And the back end of the house, is finished. At the rate Steve's moving, I reckon it'll be beer cloth before we know it. The adjustable angle crank on the end of the pole you know, for cleaning straight out, it's a balance between a hover And the amount of weight that you need to to take um, balancing the equilibrium to drive that pole but it does come down to experience and you're charging for your experience at those rates And here in the UK, 200 to 250 pound an hour. Which from a bolt-on, with, with an existing client base, or even a new client base, as a new business, as a part-time job, or into an established business, is a safe way of tackling a project. So back in now, just prior to a buy side clean, Steve's just running around with pressure pole. From the roof on to a pressure pole. And a quick uh, rinse down. The saying goes, you start light, high, you finish low. So I started with the roof, clean the roof, washing all the exterior facades. So we see here now, using the pressure pole in a wash down application so starting high finishing low and just running around the building facade to give it a rinse so it is pressure but at a distance um, controlling that pressure and controlling that flow um, to to give the whole building a, a good rinse so not using the mass task trolley uh, the unit is, is self hovering and, and driven by the pressure of the jets and he's up over the umbrella doing the fascias and gutters, brickwork. Doing it in style, Steve from Hover Wash. So just moving on to the next side, uh, the tarps were removed from the back, the area was scraped. Um, so this is where consultation with your neighbours is very very important so I'll just flick around and, and show you so there's only communication lines in the way which have uh, internet which has been established so we are safe with that overhead wiring challenging with uh, vehicles being parked but it's, it's going to come down to your expertise just been able to manoeuvre around those areas and, and whether you're capable of working within that that envelope. So with, with the mask fixed, 
uh, and the technique of just walking back and forth this little bit of side roof is going to be covered quite quickly so the expectation of the customer with you know existing roof damage or, or, or tiles needs to be discussed prior to, to any job uh, so it's always especially with these older established homes it's always ongoing maintenance requirements required um, but the upkeep is is super important Moving up the ridge. And just twisting the handle from left to right. It's allowing you to drive that pressure pole tip or roof one tip left or right. mass trolley with the up and down a 700 mil left and right 30 degrees you can cover reasonable areas without moving the trolley system Go for a time check, 10.35. Mm -hmm. You watch just the twisting left and right of the handle. He's driving that system that comes with experience and competence. No booms, no ladders. If he was uh, counting his steps from a calorie count, uh, he'll be right up there because uh, he is dancing with the system and he's uh, making it look quite easy. But to do this whole one small side of the house is probably under 20 minutes. So if you're managing staff uh, from the risk and assessment of carrying out this particular job, no boom lifts, no scaffolds.
Uh, this is round two. I'll show you what I mean. Only in the UK. Fantastic. Just had our second cup of tea. 11.54. Four time check. So twelve thirty. Uh, just going to overclean. That blind spot, which can be accessed from the laneway, but there's 14 metres of pressure pole. So it can go with the extension handle 16 metre. So there's a telescopic section in the lowest section of the handle, which will take it to 16, but there's also another two sections you can add to take it to 19. So 19 metres is what I call a bad day uh, if you need that reach. But uh, it is certainly possible, and you just position the mast to be able to uh, support that and manipulate that. So with, with maximum spread, like this, having the stabiliser arms in, the trolley all up, liquid capacity 75 litres, uh, plus trolley, uh, there is four way st stability control with the extensions when they're added.
It's a sunny day in London and uh, it is time check half past three but in that period of time uh, windows have been done, uh, gutters and fascias have been hosed down and the exterior of the building has just been washed from the residue. Um, but from an aspect um, furthermore to the roof clean uh, a biocide treatment is always an added bolt-on for a payment. The guys are just finishing off around the edges. A couple of downpipes that were disconnected prior to our arrival and they're uh, just uh, reconnecting those downpipes. Uh, solar panels are being cleaned. So it is a clay tile and uh, the finish of the, uh, the roof itself, all the ridge capping has been done from the ground at 3.30 in the afternoon and uh, remarkable timing and if I could disclose the figure that was settled upon with the customer for this claim, um, there'd probably be a lot of people out there that would change trades. Hope you um, enjoyed this video and uh, yeah it's been a great opportunity to be a part of this and, and be part of the learning experience. Um, if you'd like to know any more information in Australia uh, you can drop us a line at bluetongueindustries.com.au and uh, I'll drop links below for all the products that we've used today and uh, thanks for watching if you like this video give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.